Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Homeless Chef Show. Today I'm going to be showing you, well, I'm going to be showing myself how to make a, how would you say, gourmet, handcrafted artisan pizza. So I've already made my dough for the first time. And uh, I've got another batch right there that I'm gonna do the other method with, uh, I guess it's Polish method. And to make, to make that one, you gotta let it uh, ferment overnight. So this is just a quick dough I made, just experimental. I figured if Vito Iacopelli could do it, I don't see why I can't. Including becoming another YouTube sensation pizza maker. Such as Vito. Okay, so don't ever let anyone tell you it can't be done because this dough right here that I'm experimenting with took me about five minutes to make and then I let it rise for about an hour and a half. I don't have any cornmeal, semolina, which is real good for keeping the, the dough from sticking to your surface. So I'm just using flour, which I reckon we'll see, it may work. All right, so. It's about a 12 inch pie. It's gonna be a New York style pie because, like I said, I made this dough in about 15 minutes. And uh, it's not bad. Not the greatest either, but I've had some pretty horrible pizza. I don't know about you, but there's some places out there that should be ashamed to call themselves a pizza parlor. Maybe this is one of them. But we're trying. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my peel that I made and make it on the peel because like I said, I don't have any semolina, I don't have any cornmeal, so keep this from sticking. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it right on the peel. And I made my own wood fire oven out of literally junk that was dumped up here on Rancho Smate, AKA the Homeless Chef Ranch, where I reside on the island of Maui. And if you're gonna be homeless, why not be in a beautiful area? It's warm pretty much all year round. And uh, that's kind of my philosophy. 
going, I was either going to jail, dying, or being homeless. So I chose the third. I figured if I was going to be homeless, I'm going to do it in a place where at least I can enjoy it a bit. You know what I'm saying? Sure you do. Okay, I've messed around with this quite a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sauce it up. My fire is blazing. And uh, you're all going to learn right along with me on what not to do. Perhaps. Okay, so I made these earlier, these French bread pizzas, and they're real good, but I wanted to step it up and do my own dough, not realizing that to make really good dough, it takes about 72 hours for the long fermentation process. And I was kind of hungry, so I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and make one right now. Well, after I made those French bread pizzas, so I wasn't starving. And it takes a while to get the oven all fired up and preheated. I had to cut enough wood because that kiabi wood burns out pretty quick but it burns good it's a good it's a good weed uh, in the mainland they call it mesquite but not your ski mesquite see it's, my, it's mesquite it's not your ski so skeet over here skeet over there skeet wherever you can but you skeet with your skeet, not this skeet. Okay. I think that's going to be enough cheese. Next, I'm going to drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil. Not too much. Just enough to give it that nice Italian flair and flavor. Okay, now, to me, this is the best part of a good pizza is fresh garlic. And I like a lot of it. Now, usually when I order pizza from a pizza joint, I'll tell them, can I get garlic on there? Fresh garlic, please, not the garlic powder. And they they say, oh yeah, no, we have fresh garlic. And then they give you that minced jarred garlic, which is, uh, it's not the same as fresh. When you cut it fresh, it has a some kind of reaction that doesn't last. Once they mince it, it's, it doesn't have that same kick. Okay, so I've got my garlic all spread out nice. And unfortunately, I think I, I think I left my black pepper over there somewhere. And with that being said, we're not gonna have any black pepper on here. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little Parmigiano-Reggiano. 
interested to eat them. I don't have any basil either, bay leaf, basil, oregano. But, um, like I said, never say never. And somebody told me it can't be done without oregano and basil and Italian spices. Well, I would probably agree. But, like I said, that's not going to stop me. Okay, that fire looks to be pretty good and hot. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this to slide off the heel. What can you do? I guess wait 72 hours. Hopefully it'll come out easier than it went in. And like I said, I'm doing this without the semolina. So let's give this a minute and we'll be right back. <laughs> 